professional soccer stadium is coming to Queens. The city council approving it today. The revitalization project will be in Willits Point across from City Field and will include affordable housing. And the soccer stadium will seat 25,000 fans and be home to the New York City Football Club. We have team coverage. CBS 2's Elle McLogan is in Queens with community reaction. Let's get first though to CBS 2 Steve Overmeyer live at City Hall with today's vote. Steve. Yeah, a lot of smiles today at City Hall, even in the rain. For some, it's the adding of 14,000 union jobs for the build and more than 1,500 permanent jobs. For others, it's the fact that New York will finally have a new cathedral of sports, and this one will be solely dedicated to the world's most beloved game, soccer. We scored a major goal for New York City yeah. in this victory. In the rain and under a canopy of cherry blossoms, a celebration. There's nothing else to say, but finally, once these guys get finished building our, our show, then we come in and make it a home. We've been waiting for so long, for 10 plus years, and the anticipation that we've had for that long and the different projects that fell through, unreal. This is what Willits Point will soon look like. Directly across from City Field, Queens will be the new home of the New York City Football Club. It means so much to the team, so much to our organization to have, you know, a place that we can really call home. The project received a final approval today from the city council. Well, this is more than just building a soccer stadium. We're building a brand new neighborhood here. Uh, and that's when you find the right partners that we can really truly create something that this city hasn't seen in four decades. This project will include 2,500 affordable housing units, a school, and retail exclusively built with union workers. And the cost will be entirely funded privately. It's estimated the project won't be completed until 2027. This is still a day of celebration. We just scored a goal for the first ever soccer specific stadium yeah. in New York City Football Club. A day where New York strengthens its connection to the world sport. FC NYC, FC NYC, FC NYC, FC NYC, FC. And one more note, I mean, the councilman tells me that a project of this size would normally take up to a decade to put together, but this project had so much support from so many people, in fact, it was voted 47 to 1, that they got this project done in just 18 months. Maurice, Christine? Okay, it sounds like they're fired up down there, Steve. <laughs> Thanks so much. Well, yeah, many people, yeah, and you know, Steve, many people say that this new stadium is also a big win for the Queen's economy. While others fear they could lose out on the boost to business, CBS 2's Elle McLogan covers Queen's and spoke with the people and business owners. At Boca Junior's Steakhouse in Elmhurst, fans come together over soccer. <laughs> And beginning in 2027, they could be watching in person at the city's first professional soccer stadium, approved today by the city council. Projected to cost nearly $800 million, construction will include retail, a school, and 2,500 affordable housing units. The new development plans to reshape this corner of Queens with auto shops in the shadow of City Field. But some locals we spoke with share concerns that the transformation will leave them behind. City is not taking care of us. Our Arturo Alaya has worked on cars in this area for three decades. He says Willits Point construction is encroaching on his livelihood. If they displace us, where are we going to go? If we have family, we have very hardworking people. He channeled his emotions into a song about Willits Point, with lyrics in Spanish about greed and corruption. I think it's going to be a disaster for the Flushing business community. John Cho is executive director of the Greater Flushing Chamber of Commerce. He argues Willits Point profits will benefit wealthy developers. Uh, a lot of these stadium deals uh, don't necessarily help the local mom and pop businesses. He says that while affordable housing is crucial, existing communities need even more support. Flushing has a lot of needs that are not going to be addressed with this development. As they watch their backyard transform, neighbors here hope existing communities won't be forgotten. In Queens, L. McLogan, CBS 2 News. And if you want to check out all the renderings for the new stadium and the revitalization project, head over to CBSNewYork.com.